Hello everyone, this is Tyler from My Computer Works, and welcome back to yet another video. Today we're gonna be covering something pretty interesting, the online world of Facebook, right? So Facebook is a social media platform, pretty popular. Instagram as well, that's another one, very popular out there. So today I'm going to focus on the darker aspects of these social media platforms, unfortunately. Not a lot of people realize it because they're always so focused on the fun side of Facebook, uh, the sharing posts, the um, watching fun videos or looking at pictures that your friends post, you know, connecting with friends or family members, joining groups and pages. Uh, this is all the fun. These are all the fun parts of Facebook, right? So that's all the good stuff. We're gonna talk about the bad stuff today, unfortunately, some of the darker aspects, because there are darker aspects and bad things on Facebook that are going to possibly affect you at some point if you're using that platform, okay? So right off the bat, let's jump right into it. The first one I'm talking about, because there's only two major things that we're covering today. The first one is gonna be scams on Facebook. And the second one is going to be how to protect your Facebook from getting hacked, okay? And that's something that we see a lot here. Uh, people get what's called pwned. Uh, pwned is where somebody gains access to one of your accounts and takes it from you, okay? This happens on Facebook a lot. That's probably one of the most common accounts that you're going to have a breach or have an issue with where either your password is compromised, somebody's able to change your password and gain access to the account and then once they get in they remove you from the account and actually put what we're going to talk about the thing that should have kept them out they'll put it in and keep you out and that is the two-factor authentication or what's called two-step verification that is crucial for your account okay but before we jump into all that and i show you how to set that up on your account so you don't get hacked again the biggest thing here i don't want to see you lose your account i don't want to see you get hacked don't want to see you get pwned because that's not a fun thing when it happens so and i see it a lot unfortunately a lot of new clients will come to uh, my computer works and they will have a facebook that has been compromised and they need help getting back in and sometimes that's an easy task and sometimes that's not an easy task okay uh, it really depends on how they set up the security on the on the facebook which is what we're going to talk about i want you to set it up correctly i'm going to show you what to set up on the account in order to protect yourself and keep the account not only safe but in your hands not in the hands of somebody else okay but before we jump to that scams okay scams are getting very prevalent very very heavy on facebook okay get a lot of calls where basically this is the story i'll lay it out what i hear a lot so you'll be scrolling on facebook you see a post for something you like or something that interests you, maybe like a, a news article about something, maybe a celebrity, maybe a politician, maybe you see a, a video for something that you're like, oh, I wanna watch that. Could even be your friend's account that it looks like it's being posted off of and it winds up being a scam. Now, not only are we vulnerable to scammers or hackers getting into our account, but you always need to remember that your friends are also susceptible to this, right? So they're also um, extremely, extremely open to being compromised if they don't have 2FA or um, two-step verification like we talked about. If they don't have that set up on their account, their account could be a wide open door for somebody to walk into. And if that happens, they're going to start making posts on the account that maybe aren't posted by them. They, they are scam posts that they're hoping that you click on, right? Because you're their friends why wouldn't you click on this stuff so they might start to create fake posts however they're not just going to shoot any random thing out there they might look at the history of what that person has posted try to follow something similar and then boom you click on a link it takes you off to a scam website okay now it's not just your friends that this might happen with this could happen with sponsored advertisements on facebook this could happen with every now and then you get suggested content that suggested content that Facebook is showing you is just something that is, again, suggest, it's just somebody else's content. So it could be the scammers creating fake posts, putting them out there. They get shown into the suggested content section. You click on them. Bam. And now you're taken over to scam pop up. And a lot of times the scam pop up is going to be the Windows Defender scam pop-up, interestingly enough. Um, that one seems to be pretty prevalent. 
uh, on Facebook. A lot of people run into that there. I see that here a lot. So, and we confirm that usually whenever somebody runs into that scam, we go into their history of the browser and check to see why and where they ran into it so that they can avoid running into it again. However, with Facebook, it's a tough one, right? We're not gonna tell people not to use Facebook. Every A lot of people use Facebook and, and there's nothing wrong with using Facebook. But the links that take you off to other websites, those are the problem and those are being posted by the scammers, by those people running the phishing campaigns and trying to bait you in and steal your money, okay? So you gotta be careful of what you click on. Always watch out what is the post who posted it does it look legit you know if you're unsure if it looks suspicious you could ask your friend if they're the one who posted it uh if they're not the one who posted it and you're not sure who, who you know if it's like suggested content or just something that got placed on your page and you're not really sure how you feel about it just ignore it don't click on it don't click the link okay i always say that resist the click if you are wanting to click something but you're kind of like oh this looks suspicious or it looks like it's going to take you somewhere else that's not facebook just resist it don't click it that's okay we don't have to click everything that we see on our computer right so um that being said watch out for those scams now let's talk about how to protect yourself when you when you are using your facebook or if you have a facebook okay and again this is going to be done with what's called two fan uh, two-factor authentication or two-step verification okay so basically this the same thing two-step verification um is the process of having to verify yourself it's exactly what it sounds like there's two steps to verifying that you are who you are now a lot of times this will be whenever you do anything on the account like let's say you go to make a password change let's say you go to sign in from a different computer that you've never signed in from focus on that signing in from a different computer that you've never signed in from right we'll get back to that in a second okay so password changes signing into a computer you've never signed in from or any device a new phone whatever um basically any administrative changes you make to the account what they're going to do is they're going to send you a code okay now that code is either going to come to your email or your cell phone depending on how you set it up let's focus on that i recommend the cell phone okay here's why Let's say, remember we were talking about somebody goes to try to sign into your account. That's not you, a scammer, a hacker, somebody who's trying to pwn you, a bad actor, okay? They go to try to get into your account, right? They're gonna need that code that was sent to your phone or your email in order to get into your account. Without that information, they're not getting in, okay? So this is huge. This is a great protection for our, our, any of our accounts. Now. I strongly recommend you do the phone code more so than the email code. If you don't have a cell phone, at least do the email. Something is better than nothing. But I will say, think about this. If somebody gets into your email account, like let's say they hack your email accounts, they get in, they pwn your email accounts. Now they have access to all of your accounts because all they have to do is send those codes to the email, change all your passwords, get into your account, take your email out and make their email the new place that the codes are going being sent to okay which is usually what they do if somebody's going to get into your account what they're going to do is they're going to hope that you don't have two-step verification or 2fa on the account they're going to take the account remove your email or phone number if it was there and put theirs in so that that's where the codes are going to so that they have administrative control over the account okay so that's what 2FA is, it's a way of protecting your accounts by adding an extra layer, layer of security in, in the form of a code that has to be sent to you via phone or email to get into your account or make changes, okay? A lot of people get really frustrated with this. They're like, oh, this is annoying. I have to put a code in to do it. No, 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 don't get frustrated. It is good, it is good. Anytime your account is asking you for a code, to your phone or your email, that means that they're keeping you safe by making sure that they that you are who you say you are and not some scammer or hacker. And the scammer or hacker would have just as hard of a hard, uh, time. In fact, he's gonna have an even harder time, especially if he can't get those codes. So 2FA, a good thing, we want it, okay? So let's show you here how to get it, all right? So I made a mock Facebook here. Um, I don't personally use Facebook, so I made this mock Facebook here to kind of show you how to do this okay so here we are at the home page of the facebook 
I don't really have anything going on because again, I just made this thing. So they're just showing me like I talked about the uh, the sponsored ads like this, this one here. And so we're going to go to the settings and privacy up here. So you go up to the top right, your little picture settings and privacy and then settings. OK, now that's going to take us to our account center here, the meta account center. All right. And so what's kind of nice about this is this tutorial right here covers both Instagram and Facebook, okay? Because they're connected now. You do everything through the Meta Control Center, which is what we're looking at right here. So, all right, so once we're inside the account center, we have to choose the account that we're gonna use. In this case, it's just the one. You, if you had an Instagram, the Instagram account would also show here though. Interesting to note that here. So both profiles, so you could do this for, for both of your, your accounts. So I'm gonna do it for the Facebook, right here so that's where we're at um and like i said if you had an instagram you'd be doing this for both so right here on the left side we're going to choose password and security okay and then underneath the login and recovery section right here we have an option for two-factor authentication all right and we're going to turn that on choose an account okay again like i said if you had an instagram it would show underneath the facebook right here so you could do it for either instagram or facebook but i have a, i have just the the mock facebook that i made so i'm going to choose that all right so here we go we're on our way what they're doing now and it has my email hidden thankfully i'm sorry guys i don't want a bunch of emails in my in my email from y'all um that is one of my personal accounts so uh, yeah, so it'll send an email. You have to kind of figure out which one it is. Like I said, they'll block it out even from you. And uh, they're I know which one that is. So they're sending a code to that email. Okay. So then what I would do is I would go get that code. I would put it in here. Hit continue. And that's it. I would have two factor authentication or two step verification turned on. It's as simple as that. Um, again, once that's on, anything moving forward that I do on the account, password changes, login from a new device, administrative changes, now everything I do is gonna require that code to be sent to my email in order to, uh, to, to go through with that or to make those changes, okay? Especially the logging in from the new device. Remember I said focus on that earlier. That's the biggest thing, okay? Every time a new device accesses one of your accounts, or gains access to one of your accounts, it should be having to, to, to do this. There should be a code going to either a, the phone, your cell phone or your email, okay? Um, there should never be the circumstance where a new device can just hop onto your accounts. If you have that, if that's the way it is, if that's the way your account is, it's not safe. It is extremely vulnerable and that is in that you're putting yourself into a very bad place. You're going to wind up paying for that. So get 2FA set up get uh, two-step verification set up, whatever it's called for your specific account. It might be called uh, two-factor authentication like it is here. Uh, Microsoft likes to call it two-step verification. Same thing, doesn't matter. Get it set up, okay, on all of your accounts. You want it for every single account. Facebook is key though, because like I said, we see Facebook accounts taken all the time here. I mean, it's very, it's very common. So get that on there, get it set up. Keep yourself safe. If you're having trouble with it, reach out to our, our number at the beginning or the end down in the description. Happy to help you out. We set this up for clients all the time. So we'd be happy to help you get it set up as well and uh, maybe teach you a little more about how to keep yourself uh, safe on Facebook. So like we talked about those scams, uh, I wanted to mention you could add an ad blocker make sure you have um, a good antivirus. But at the end of the day, if you click on a pop up redirect, you're going to the website. So it's going to take you there and, and, and uh, could be bad so having my computer works on your team in your corner might not be a bad idea like i said we're very um we're very versed in not only clearing those scams but also getting things like 2fa and other security methods and protocols set up on your computer to be able to keep yourself safe okay everybody and that's the biggest goal everyone be safe out there have a happy holidays and i'll see y'all on the next one thank you